He likes to go into fast food restaurants and buy everyone food like a big shot. He bought 30 milkshakes and some chicken and then started passing it around. And one young woman in a, attendance at the Chick-fil-A became an immediate fan. So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. We support you. Uh, we okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please. <laughs> That's really nice. You know, we did. We took care of the, uh, the black colleges, universities. They're taking care of now, and she understands it. A lot of people don't understand it. Biden did nothing for them, and I did, I did everything. I did everything. <laughs> Just a former president muttering, I did everything, I did everything to himself at a fast food chicken restaurant. Nothing unusual there. I wouldn't have given anything for somebody to ask him right on the spot. Name one black university, okay? <laughs> and let's have a look at that. And of course, for that photo, I would like to see what that looked like. Oh, yeah, there you go. That Look at that. Man of the people. Joe Biden invested $7 billion in historically black colleges and universities, but Donald Trump, who lost Georgia last time, believes bigly and strongly that this time he deserves to win there. Why should the people of Atlanta vote for you? Because I've done more for the people of Atlanta than any other president by far. I've done more for the black community than any other president since Abraham Lincoln, and maybe including Abraham Lincoln, frankly, but since Abraham Lincoln. I don't who who is this person? The fact that he's able to say the words, I've done more for the black community than maybe Abraham Lincoln, and then not start laughing hysterically, it's incredible. He might as well be saying, I am a black person. It would be equally preposterous. Donald Trump and right-wing media use this propaganda to spread false narratives. So here's what happened, folks. Donald Trump was in Georgia where he went to Buckhead to raise money from billionaires. And then they tried to act like he was just showing up in Chick-fil-A so he could uh, just be a man of the people. And while he was in Chick-fil-A, uh, a woman named Michaela Montgomery, we later learned her name, went over and gave him a hug. She's an African-American female. And it seemed to be this spontaneous outbursting of support where she said, like, we love you and thanks for being here. We don't care what the media says. Well, folks, we've uncovered at the Midas Touch Network that this was all staged and part of an elaborate propaganda campaign. Indeed, Miguela Montgomery is a Republican operative. She works at an organization called Blexit, B-L-E-X-I-T, which is now controlled by Charlie Kirk, who runs Turning Point USA, which has recently stated that African Americans should not be pilots. And of course, a bunch of other absurd and racist stuff being spewed from uh, turning points that we've covered at the Midas Touch Network. Blexit was previously operated by uh, Candace Owens. We did an article about this on the Midas Touch Network where we exposed it all. Exclusive Trump's viral hug at Chick-fil-A was with a MAGA operative. Miguela Montgomery is a political consultant and former Republican intern. We've got all the photos. We've got all of the receipts. Fox kept on doing segments about this to try to say that black people are not supporting President Biden and black people are supporting Donald Trump now. All propaganda here, all bogus, and we've exposed it all here. Um, uh, Right-wing influencers like Benny Johnson said, the media cannot understand this photo. It hurts them. It breaks their brains. So they will censor it. Everything he does is false. That's why he's called Don the Con. Let me show you this moment that was then reposted by Trump's campaign where they say, watch, Miguela Montgomery, whose hug with President Trump at an Atlantic Chick-fil-A was a viral sensation. Folks, this was all staged. This was all manipulated. But let me show you what they were doing on Fox. Play this clip. So an unforgettable moment on the campaign trail for one voter who got a big hug from Trump at an Atlanta Chick-fil-A uh, while he met with supporters. Watch. Okay, what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. Uh, we support you. Uh, we support you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please. <laughs> Please. Look at the joy. Here to tell us about it is that young woman herself, Michaela Montgomery. She's also the founder of a grassroots political group to conserve the culture. Uh, Michaela, I've been waiting for this interview all morning. So when I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> and then let me show you what they were doing on uh, the Fox show, Jesse Waters. So I'm not going to show you a ton of it. I'll show you one more of these. Here, play this clip. 
It's an election year and Joe Biden's in trouble. One reason why, Donald Trump's attracting blacks. Yesterday at Chick-fil-A, it was all love. I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. Thank we support you. you. Uh, we support you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please <laughs> <laughs> the media knows which way the wind's blowing, so they're trying to stir things up. As Roland Martin says, this shows you how at Fox News and its hosts refuse to fact check anything. She was not just some voter. She is a Republican operative. But Roland, it's worse than that. They are knowingly doing this. They are shoulder to shoulder in spreading this. Here's the uh, exclusive from Midas Touch. We talked about how a video of a Trump supporter who hugged the presumptive Republican nominee and shouted out support during a visit to an Atlanta Chick-fil-A turned out to be a Republican operative, according to social media posts reviewed by Midas Touch. Nothing about Trump or his campaign is authentic. Every event is a careful setup ahead of time and staged. They all fit into the same pattern every single time. On every road trip to an event, the campaign sets up an excursion to a fast food restaurant, either before or after his speech. The campaign always has the law enforcement officers waiting at the airport tarmac when he arrives. His advance team has throngs of cheering supporters waiting for him so they can get the photo and video clips to social media, to Fox, to Newsmax, to all the right-wing propaganda outlets for it. I mean, folks, this is Kim Jong-un stuff. This is, uh, you know, North Korea stuff. This is stuff that we see in Russia. We talk about how Trump wears the same clothes. He gives the same speech. He repeats the same thing, trying to give off, oh, this is a man of the people veneer before the pampered fraudster from New York City flies on his jet back to Palm Beach, where an army of people wait on his every need. If you watch all of his rallies and appearances, you can pretty much tell someone ahead of time exactly what he is going to do every step of the way. He's got the people in the Blacks for Trump t-shirts stationed directly behind him for the cameras at every event, as if they are following him around the country on their own dime and just happen to get those seats randomly. They staged a fake union rally in Michigan where they had non-union people, many of whom were not even auto workers, holding up union workers for Trump. I mean, the ultimate scam move. They went into a non-union shop and had non auto workers, non-union workers, hold up a sign pretending to be union workers, and then Trump went around saying that he was speaking with union workers. Here, play this clip. In fact, I went up to Michigan to save the United Auto Workers from their union because their union was negotiating a terrible thing doing, a terrible thing. They were negotiating hourly wages, but they weren't talking about the electric vehicles because they can have all the wages they want, but in two years, they're not going to have a job if they go with this mandate. That they Sleep is the foundation of our mental and physical health. When you are sleeping well, you can perform at your best mentally and physically. Introducing Beam's Dream Powder, a science-backed healthy hot cocoa for sleep. If you know me, you know that Dream has been an absolute game changer for my sleep. I drink Beam's Dream Powder each night in order to get my optimal sleep. And I have to say, I would not be recommending this if it didn't actually help me. And today, my listeners get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder, their science-backed healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Better sleep has never tasted it better. Now available in delicious flavors like chocolate peanut butter, cinnamon cocoa, and sea salt caramel with only 15 calories and zero grams of sugar. Other sleep aids could cause next day grogginess, but Dreams contains a powerful all-natural blend of reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, melatonin, and nano CBD to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. The numbers don't lie. In a clinical study, 93% of participants reported Dream helped them get better sleep. Beam Dream is easy to add to your nighttime routine. Just mix Dream into hot water or milk, froth, and enjoy before bed. Find out why Forbes and New York Times are all talking about Beam and why it's trusted by the world's top athletes and business professionals. If you want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder, get up to 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash Midas and use code Midas at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash M-E-I-D-A-S and use code Midas for up to 40% off. And then remember recently at another fake event, uh, Donald Trump claimed that he spoke to the family of murder victim Ruby Garcia. Um, remember that in Michigan? And he told the audience what she supposedly said to him, which he basically plagiarized from the obituary. He did not meet with the family. Remember this clip? On March 22nd, he shot 17-year-old Ruby. Actually, she was uh, a beautiful, beautiful young woman. Uh, Ruby Garcia was uh, shot multiple times 
And then he did it again this week in Atlanta. As we mentioned, uh, he did a fundraiser with a small group of billionaires in Buckhead, where Kelly Leffler is from. But then the campaign used a staged sojourn to a local Chick-fil-A to create a three-day news cycle that there is a groundswell of black working-class Georgians who showed up to greet them. They posted the photos that went viral on media and social media. It's all an up. MAGA Republicans have been using the viral video and photo of Montgomery's hug to claim that Trump has overwhelming support from black voters due to what appeared to be an organic outpouring of support from someone who just happened to be in the same place at the same time. Trump seized on the moment, posting the Fox News clip on his social media platform. Uh, Montgomery was introduced as the founder of a conservative theme group, Conserve Culture. During the interview, Montgomery admitted to visiting the location with her students, knowing that Trump would be there. And here you see Mikkel Montgomery. She was an intern in the Republican Party. Regular people don't have pre-knowledge of Trump's visitations to particular fast food locations. And as it turns out, on top of having her own conservative group, Montgomery has worked as a worked in the Republican Party of Georgia. Um, and then according, and that's according to her LinkedIn profile that we've identified. She describes herself as a political consultant, a director of outreach and engagement. And according to her bio, she worked at Blexit founded by Candace Owens to recruit black voters into voting for Trump and joining the Republican Party. It's now controlled by Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk uh, has said things like this. Play the clip. And that's why I think this United story and the DEI story yes. hits so hard because we've all been in the back of a plane when the turbulence hits or when you're flying through a storm and you're like, I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw get into the cockpit before we took off. And I feel better now. No, I mean, like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't have done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't. That's not that who before. I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, and then we've also uncovered a picture of Montgomery working at a table at a Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens Live Free tour in October of 2023. You see right there. Um, and of course, we've covered uh, Kirk's attacks on MLK, black pilots and black professionals before here. And we've broke those stories. Um, as we said on the article, Montgomery doesn't need anyone's permission to support Trump or to be a black conservative or to get paid for Republican political work. But let's not pretend this is some organic event that unfolded. Montgomery has been working for MAGA Republican causes for years. Don't fall for the Fox News host pushing this as some kind of spontaneous indicator of support.